salutations friends welcome back to my channel i had an idea this weekend while i was scrolling on instagram i came across this wonderful lady who makes dresses out of bed sheets usually licensed which i think is amazing and then she goes and she sells them on etsy for like 180 dollars I don't have $180 and I do have a good amount of licensed bed sheets. Now, before you get ahead of me, that's not what we're gonna do. So my grand idea was to make character aprons that you could wear for Disney bounding or for casual cosplay and have them be functional as an actual apron if you are into such activities as baking and the like or you could button up the back of it and have it be a dress and then you could wear it out as a pinafore and wear it for dapper day or just out and about running groceries and you just feel like dressing up like your favorite character so the basis of the idea is that the waistband is completely adjustable there will be a tube and then the belt will lace through it and you can tie the whole thing in the back being able to cinch it and then readjust it as you need to so it'll have a little bit of a ruffle effect and then the back of it will be open and accessible if you just want to throw it on or there will be a line of buttons on the back so that way you can just button up the skirt and actually wear it so it'll cover everything so i did a test of it i did not have any buttons so the back of mine is sewn up i apologize i then took it to work and i explained my idea to some of my co-workers and they loved it we're gonna i'm going to give it a shot and i'm gonna throw it out there on the internet for the internet to decide if this is actually a good idea or not so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made my lemonade dress as well as making a rapunzel inspired dress where i have just licensed fabric that has rapunzel on it and i'm going to be making a sailor venus inspired apron why sailor venus you ask and not sailor moon well sailor venus is my favorite don't come at me <laughs> So hop in a time machine with me and we are gonna go back in time to Saturday night when I made my lemonade dress. I know time travel can kind of take it out of you. Those are going to be over to your left. Over on your right, we're going to get started on ironing all of my fabric.
Okay, I just finished sewing up the skirt as well as all of the white accessories and I may have made a mistake. So if you see these two white lines, those are the inseam pockets because what is an apron if it does not have pockets? So they're, they're in there. Um, I am still trying to figure out the correct measurements for how much fabric I need for each thing. I accidentally got too much of the white fabric and not enough of the orange. So instead of doing two yards of white and one yard of orange, maybe I'll do like one and a half yards of both and that'll be enough so that way I can get clean lines for all of my straps and I don't have to do any reattaching of the fabric. But also I'll be able to have pockets that are the same color as the rest of the skirt so I don't have I won't have that going on, but you know, it's... Maybe I'll take a Sharpie to it and I'll just Sharpie the whole outline of it. Just so it's it's less obtusely noticeable. Um, but other than that, I have finished all of the main parts of the skirt. So now I'm moving on to sewing up the bow, attaching that to the front part of the apron, and then sewing all of this together. And I think that'll be the end of today. So now that we've gotten to the end of day two and this is basically done, tomorrow I'll take this out on the town while I go shopping for some of the accessory parts and then I'll make and thusly show off the Rapunzel dress so that way it's not just three consecutive clips of me trying to look graceful in three different dresses. gonna be a total mess to undo. Also, I got my nails done. They're spoopy. Okay, back to work. I made a couple of adjustments. So waistband is now on the inside. So that way there is no visible tube anymore, which I didn't think I was gonna like, but I actually love it. So the only thing I have to do is sew down the ties and sew on the buttons on both of them. You guys might've noticed when I took this out on the town yesterday, um, there were no buttons because I did not have buttons, but buttons arrived today. So I will get all of those attached along with all of the magnificent buttonholes of which I only learned how to do like a week ago and then we can take Rapunzel out on the town
project that'll probably never happen. But if it's creepy, just, you know, ignore it. This went rather well. I I would say this went rather well. Um, I feel this is just me and I am a long bean. And so this is probably just a me thing. They're a little short. Uh, obviously my lemonade one is like down past my knee and that's kind of more of where I'm comfortable wearing something more like a pinafore, like a, a skirt with an apron top. Whereas these are a lot more throw them over something that's, that's pre-existing. I used to be really comfortable wearing like the skater skirt length and uh, just not really something that I strive for, even if I am kind of like, you know, out doing something like going out to a club with friends, I usually end up wearing like the most modest thing out of the group. Um, but regardless of the length, I think that these turned out great. I really wanted to try and make sure that I was making something that if I sold it to someone, they would be happy with it. So like all of the seams are all finished, the inside of it is all clean, the buttonholes, which I am still getting used to how to actually operate that setting on my machine, turned out rather well on both dresses. And overall, I really don't have any complaints about this. There are a couple things that I am debating on how to do better in the future for these garments is like making these specifically like if i do want to sell these like on etsy or something like that i would like to make a couple of changes now that i've kind of sat down and looked at how other people make them but overall super happy with the way that these turned out super happy with the way that they look i'm probably gonna wear them like this with like a basic t-shirt and leggings underneath them because that's kind of how i feel comfortable wearing them but yeah for the most part no complaints thank you so much for joining me on this trip it's just it's freaking me out now now that i've pointed it out it's it's there no now none of us have to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it and you feel like sticking around, feel free to click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.